And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. accepted Jesus Christ into your heart. Scripted. I'm David and I'm Hector and today we are going to do the camera angles review of the new Evil Dead Starring who the fuck knows I know Do you know? I, yeah, it's also directed by FedEx Freddy Fede Alvarez and It's um, you know a contemporary remake of the original 1980 whatever movie called the Evil Dead um, basically uh, a few friends in the woods are dealing with some shit, and they come upon a uh, book. The Book of the Dead. The Book of the Dead. <sighs> and, um, yeah, it's it shit goes down afterwards. There's demons everywhere. You know, not not necessarily good stuff. I, w I wouldn't say it's really good stuff. No, well, no, it's pretty bad because, you know, demons. Demons. De you know, kids, you gotta watch out for that. Yeah. So the characters within this movie, uh, we have... Uh, Jay Levy, that's kind of like the main character, I would say. Would you say it's the main character? Cause she it's is the main character. She is the first demon, though. Yeah, the first demon. It gets really complex, and without saying spoilers, she kind of becomes a main character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Sh uh, Shia F Fernandez. Shiloh. Shiloh Fernandez, sorry. Um, he plays David. Yes. He... Not me, but a different David. <laughs> He's the main character... Um, I would say Jane uh, Levy and Shiloh are like two main characters of the film. They play brother and sister. Mm -hmm. Lou Taylor Pucci as Eric, who is a high school teacher. And that, the badass of the film. Uh, he, this man has 9,999 hit points. <laughs> he won't die. He just won't die. He gets he gets shot with nail guns left and right. He gets and hit with a crowbar. He gets hit with a crowbar. Or, and he's still trucking. Motherfucker that, trucking. That is how you level up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we have our, our the good characters, uh, Jessica Lucas. And Elizabeth Blackmore. Great characters. Like, those are the two that I was... So now we're going to go into the pros and cons of the film. Uh, let's start with pros first, yeah? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, as, I, as you know, it's a remake. Yes. So you have the same original story, and the story is told very well, I yes. think. Yes, it is. Um, not too much, like, if... You know, like, let's use the grudge as a thing. Um, originally, it was made in, you know, Japanese horror genre kind of thing. Um, then it was westernized. And then it was westernized, and it had a lot of issues converting to that. Mm -hmm. um, in the same way, this didn't have issues. I mean, sure, it's still western to western, but it didn't have any issues diluting the story. The story's still pretty strong. It, it, the story's a little bit more expanded. And you can... In areas. And it appeals to more of the audience of today's culture. You know, this yeah. youth, this generation. contemporary -ness. Yeah. So it works for them. You know what I mean? Um, the story's great. Um, the other pro, I would I, say... I, I, honestly, I'd just like to say first that it's scary. The pro, that it is legitimately yeah, scary. Yeah, I, I was actually scared. Right? Yeah. Right. It was an edge mm. of their seat. I like to sit down when I'm watching a scary movie like this, covering my ear, just you know, to kind of like mm -hmm. the shock factor go down a little bit. But yeah. um, it you before the movie came out, you saw those the, the, the critic reviews about how it's legitimately scary or the most scariest film we've seen this year. I wouldn't say it's the most, but, but it, it's it scary. is legitimate. You're not you're not disappointed in that factor. And also it it comes up with humor elements at the right times, which uh, doesn't take away from the fear in the movie. It's just like it gets so obnoxious to a point where you're just like, I cannot not laugh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and that, that, that's definitely a pro. 
The pro of this movie is uh, you get some Easter eggs towards the previous film, uh, well, the original. Um, like, for example, uh, in the beginning of the film, there's a huge, a, a pretty big Easter egg that uh, this mofo didn't get right away. Yeah, it was... Um, it, it was kind of sad, but... I wish I could say I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we were sober. Yeah, we were totally sober. <laughs> we were with another buddy of ours, and I remember when we were sitting next to each other, we were just like, both of us were like, whoa, yeah, woo. <laughs> And uh, I, I, can't, I can't tell you what it is, because I want you to, you to uh, see it for yourself. I was totally oblivious. He was totally oblivious. I'm very ashamed. At the end, uh, we were talking about it, and uh, David here was like, what? We were talking, what? And yeah. then then he got it. Yeah, it, it was kind of depressing. Because I usually pick up on those pretty awesomely. Stay for the credits, and there is, like, a punch in the face about to happen. Cons. <laughs> Pecans. Pie. But anyways, uh, yeah, David, big con, not me. I'm not a con, I'm a pro. But this guy, David, is a con if there ever was one. And I'm not saying Kirk con. <laughs> Ricardo Montalban is not in this movie, unfortunately. Um, David, uh, played by Shiloh Fernandez, uh, yeah, played by Shiloh Fernandez in this film, is just... Derp, uh, derp. And I'm not blaming the actor, because I think that... It's more of the script. The actor portrays this script. He... Oh, what you're trying to say is the actor does what the script tells him to yeah, do. Yeah, so you are like, okay, this actor, he's, he's all right, but... The actual character David is just just derp a derp derp a derp man he's yeah <laughs> I I think we can stop talking about David because we're, we we can go on about our on hours with a spoiler version of this and that would just wouldn't be entertaining because it would just be a would, anger fest it will but I just have to tell you guys right now and I cause, because I want you guys to pick it up too um, when we were watching the film uh, and you are getting to know the characters and, and once they're all meeting each other, um, he goes up to Mia, uh, the other character in the film, and says something along the, line, along the lines of, you're my sister. You know what I mean? And yeah. And you'll, you'll, when you see it yourself, you'll kind of put the puzzles together, and but you're just like... Was that needed? Was, was it needed? Are we that retarded? We're not. We're not retarded. He's retarded. We're not retarded. Come on, guys. Like, make a script that has some subtlety. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's I obvious mean, if you're going to share a mother, you are a sibling. Right. In the, in the, there's a scene after that where they're looking through a, a collage of family photos mm -hmm. with both of them in there. And then they and have to accentuate it, right it again. away. But they accentuated it again even then. They were like, hey, that's my our mother. Whoa, our mother? That's heck. Another big con, I would say, is other than script writing and the character development, is they fucked up a lot of scenes that I personally cherished from the original. Mm -hmm. There wasn't that really deep character like, power. Yeah. Not the, the characterization. I know it's back to what we were saying about the characters, but, like, the camera didn't do the same things as the first one, and there were certain scenes, like the rape, tree rape scene, that weren't as <laughs> impactful. That was a pretty bad scene. Yeah. Uh, it's cringeworthy. Um, one scene that I did miss from the original is uh, the first-person view from the first demon. Oh, God. Uh, under, inside the actual trap door. Uh, you don't see that f when, when the trap door opens and you don't have that scene where she's looking at what's going on in the room and everyone's just kind of like, what do we do, what do we do? That's not in this film. Yeah, and they also don't sing the fucking lullaby that they put in the trailers. That, that personally really bugged me because it was something so creepy in the first one. That brings us to our final segment of this review, which is our rating. Ratings. Rating. Anyways, oh. um... I will give this movie dun, 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 drum roll. Um, no, we're not going to do drum rolls on this channel. It's forbidden. Okay. Um, we're going to give this movie me matinee. I believe it was good, but is it good for a midnight showing? Even though it's a physically impossible thing for you to go see this at midnight right now, but I would give it matinee. Um, I would personally give it a horror movie magic. I'm adding the horror to it because it is one of the, you know, better horror movies that are out today. Because right now, a lot of the movies that are coming out that are horror, you know, now, maybe not. How, how would you rate this without the horror aspect? Um, 
I'd probably give it a matinee as well. Uh, matinee. Because you, you, if you're in it for the quality, if you're in it for the acting and all that stuff, you're not going to get it. Um, I mean, the quality is really good when it comes to like a horror genre film. And the camera. <laughs> and, the, and the camera. But it's oh, no, not something, it's not, it's no doubt. It's not, um, there will be blood. You know, it's not one of those kind of yes. films. You're not going to like get deepness let deepness us know if you differ your opinion greatly um we we like to know what our fans think yeah we bit. really really would like to know um just so that just in case we forgot something if you want to add uh tell us in the comics we'll we will probably post something and and just add it just for you know f's sake um but fuck's sake <laughs> um also try to keep the spoilers out of the comments i know a lot of you are not really going to care but there are people i haven't seen this movie that are actually Looking at this channel to, you know. Yeah, to maybe see if it's going to be worth it. Or, like, if it comes in the Dollar Theater, because we have a Dollar Theater here in Springs. I don't know if you have one or not. But, you know, some people might be waiting for that, just if it's worth it or not. Um, we would also just like to apologize, because we've been kind of... Busy. I would busy, say the word yeah, is busy. busy. Um, We're trying to figure out how this channel is going to... How to how to increase the views and subscribers and stuff like that. So yeah. we're just kind of on the outside looking in right now. Uh, and we're doing a lot of experimentation, I would say. Again, bear with us. We're a new channel and we're, you know, we're just starting to get the kinks out. Mm -hmm. So uh, and on that point, though, I would like to also get your um, uh, feedback on that as well. So if you guys have any ideas of what we could do better... Um, to increase our views and increase our subscribers. Also tell us what we should stop doing. Yeah, because we might not understand <laughs> yeah. something and just keep doing it. So just let us know. Um, what to look for this uh, coming couple days? Um, we are planning on a Socratic Monthly. Um, if you're not sure what that means, uh, check out our other videos where we go into a detail of what it is. But just kind of a minor synopsis. synopsis we just talk about what came out this month and what was good and what was not. We're trying to uh, get also with that like maybe a talking, a, t a roundtable discussion. We're trying to. I don't know if it will happen, but on uh, Bioshock Infinite, see our review. It's not the best piece of work out there. We're trying to work on, as I said, the kinks, or mm -hmm. as he said, the kinks. So check that out. Yeah, we'll also probably be talking about Injustice. Injustice, Gods Among Us, yes. Ooh. We... Expect that review, too. That's on its way. Yep. So, again, uh, just check it out. Um, we'll be posting it here in a little while. Um, so, we're thinking also about, just to see what happens with feedback a little bit, we're going to pose a question. Should we review Game of Thrones? Um, season 3, Episode 4 just came out. Excellent episode. I'll go more into detail if you want me to. Leave a comment below if you want us to review that. And uh, believe me, I would love to because I want to get into other TV shows. Um, subscribe to our channel. Leave Thanks a comment you. below, please. We need the feedback. We really do. Um, like us because we're, we're likable folks. Yeah, we're likable folks. I think so. Folks. My mama says I'm a, I have a really good personality, so yeah. I believe her. Yo, mama. Anyways, um, yeah, well, and, you know, while you're down there. House at the end of the road, it's so scary. No, Cabin in the fucking Woods with Demon Book is scarier.